All right, people, welcome back. More Diendo commentary. So you might have noticed we actually have a new person on the channel here. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Hello there, everyone. Watch this video. I'm the Mad Wasp. Um, so, yeah, thanks for having me on. That's just kind of surprising. I'm, I'm here, actually. Yeah. I was looking for people to join Yu Gi Oh! Turn Draft Season 2. Uh, they suggested uh, the Mad Wasp's channel, and I was like, oh, you know, that's perfect. And uh, he's been fairly flexible, and uh, he is, of course, joining for Season 2. So, look forward to that. Indeed. Uh, I believe you've already stated your Tier 1 deck. You want to give a little spoiler? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll be um, playing. Let's just say it's a, it's a very dark deck at that. Let's okay. just say that. <laughs> just a little hint, just a little taste, just a dark deck. All right. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, we're getting nice and organized, going down the list, everybody's getting their decks together, and we should be ready by July. <laughs> Roughly. Roughly. So, uh, we see some monarchs here. Yeah. So, uh, the endo commentary, uh, of course. Uh, Mad Wasp is now officially a tag partner, joining me for tagging on Daily Duels and Dando Commentary. So we have Control the Center here at uh, 820, but it has a lot of experience. A lot of experience. Yeah, I, I, yeah, it's pretty cool, actually. I've never actually, actually learned how this, this system works, because I, I already use DN, but I assume that's really high. Because, you know, it's like, uh, on this, I don't like get the, like, the numbers in, like, on one side and the other side, but whatever. Yeah, so rating your experience. I think you just get experience for just doing duels in general. So this person, mm. the control center, has done a lot of duels. While your rating gets reset every uh, every format, every, every time they update. Yeah, yep. yeah makes and sense. Nakagawa won at 1110, which is pretty good. Uh, playing mm -hmm. them extra deck monarchs, of course. So yep. <laughs> you already know. And uh, that deck will, of course, be in Yu-Gi-Oh! 2 Draft League Season 2. So... That'll be entertaining. Now, what do they want to yeah. do? Domain or extra deck monarchs? That's up to the people who choose them. And I believe, I, th I believe at this point, all monarchs are chosen. So. <laughs> yeah, I think that's what was on the uh, the Discord chat thing. Yeah, yeah, I'm trying to keep everybody updated on what's going on. Uh, but uh, thank you mm. for being nice and flexible. And uh, no, no problem. Joining me. <laughs> I I just I try to be because I know how difficult it can be at times trying to get like a collaboration of people. Oh yeah. So. <laughs> oh yeah, I mean, this is gonna be difficult. It's gonna be what twenty of us? Because me, Stanzi is host, and then, and then no, no, eighteen people. Me, Stanzi host, and mm. eighteen people. Actually, seventeen people technically, because I have one person on standby just in case. <laughs> Not a problem. <laughs> yeah. They know they know that they're on standby, <laughs> but there there's mm. someone on standby just in case because. I'm, I'm kind of already having a problem with this. Wow. <laughs> oh, <people's> okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then. Well, that ended abruptly. Seriously, like controller center. I don't, did we even see what deck he was playing? I don't think we did. It's yeah, cool. I don't think no. he revealed it. I guess he was like, fuck it. Uh, I'll just go ahead and scoop and then not reveal so he really can't side against me. It's not a terrible sense. idea, but, you know, for entertainment's sake, I don't want to sit here for, you know... For like half an hour to forty freaking minutes trying to get a decent duel in. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's just. I mean, what, no, what can you what can you do when like you see monks go off like that? Yeah. You just gotta go. Yeah, it's that just should, like that should be interesting to see. <laughs> yep, be very entertaining to say the least. Mm-hmm. So, season two. Oh my god, season two is gonna last forever. You know that, right? <laughs> Yeah, you told me. Yeah, like, it is uh, going like, to. I predict it's going to end somewhere in March or April. Hmm. Mm. <laughs> like, it's okay. going to be gone for a long time. <laughs> yep. <clears throat> uh, I it's, said, a... it's just a duel, one match every other week, so it's not too taxing. Yeah. Ah, yeah. And, the, the and he opened up to Brilliant Fusion. Oh, my God. That's interesting. Yeah, have you have you heard the community talking about it? Uh, not really. Yeah, the community. I mean, I, I I know I know DP did like a video on it, and that was about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The community, yeah, talking about uh, Seth. <laughs> you know what? I, I'd say yep. Seth. I'd say if anybody, it's Seth. Because Brilliant Fusion, I, I've seen Gem Knights play without Seth. But Brilliant Fusion, that kind of hurts. That does. But Seth, yeah, no one really needs her. You're, you're just, like, for goodness sakes, fo foolishing any light monster and the additional normal summon? Hmm, that's kind of crazy. Mm-hmm, so. Because DP, I, th I think DP brought up a really good point. I mean, wasn't there another fusion monster that was banned that sent any light monster? <laughs> yeah, it was, it was, uh, 
it was a construct, mm -hmm, so to say the least. I wouldn't be. I would not be upset if they could go ahead and decide to go ahead and take out Seth too. Hmm. <laughs> oh, he's tributing for the Dark Witch. Okay. Yeah, because now he can go ahead and make a, a rank five. Because why not? Yeah. Look at that. Makes sense. Look at that. Running normal, normal playmats is all because of Seth Randall. Yep. Alright, so, mm. guess negate everything and slap it over to your Brilliant Fusion that you really don't need anymore. Indeed. God, Brilliant Fusion's expensive. Yeah, as I was just trying to get, <laughs> I've been trying to get copies of it for ages now, but I don't have I don't have the money for it right now. <laughs> and it's probably going to get, it's probably, well, at least, if something's going to happen to it or, Sarah, or stuff's going to get hit, so I don't want to invest too much anyway. Mm -hmm. but you guys, then again, you know, I... But if they if it doesn't get hit, then it's only going to go up in price. Indeed, it is. Yeah. They can control shuffle his hand back with the Randall. Hmm. Right. This is going to be interesting to say the least. You can't tell if Nakagawa had a bad hand, or he just said, "Screw it, shuffle your hand back." <laughs> I mean, he probably he, he probably did to be fair, but even that was just just trying to be a jerk. I mean, monarchs they do kind of brick at times. At times. When they break, they break, but when they go off, they go off, so... <laughs> yeah. It's, it kind of reminds me of um, what, happened to, what happened when Magic Spectres became a thing. It was like, it's alright, but you have to open up a really good hand, otherwise you just don't get lots of all the stuff you need. It's kind of like, if you draw like spells and traps, that's just really, really bad. But get the monsters, and that's brilliant. My problem with Magic Spectres is that you don't want them to be your scale. Exactly. Yeah. So you always gotta throw in something different with Magic Spectres, like Ma Magic Spectre Magicians or something. Well, you gotta yeah. just go ahead and let him regekis and pop, allow him to pop that set card, I guess. Oh. Oh, it's oh, it's a Molek Mirror Match. Okay. Okay. So I guess Control just opened up like crap. <laughs> yeah. Must have done. He must have got the brick hand. Because I noticed that I noticed some people trying to play like pure Magic Spectres, and I'm like, but you don't want your monsters as your scale. <laughs> You know, I'd much no. rather play like magicians, have my magicians at the pendulum scale and pendulum summon the magic specters than have my magic specters in my pendulum scale, therefore not really doing anything, getting their effect, mm, they don't exactly. have a pendulum effect, so. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <sighs> <clears throat> Speaking of magic specters, that's uh, obviously going to be in season two, so. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be kind of fun to go up against, I feel. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, at, least we, <laughs> at least we were nice and we decided to set a rule. Uh, if you, if match switchers are chosen, they're allowed to use the the magicians as their as their engine to help, mm -hmm. but they're not allowed Apex Avion. No, that kind of I guess it kind of makes sense. That card's kind of nuts. Yeah, but in the same boat, Odd Eyes Magicians is also so they can use the magician engine, play Odd Eyes, uh, Skyrus, and all that crap. But they're not allowed to have uh, Keating. <laughs> mm. So you, each of you get one OP card. <laughs> I can make yeah. a capital G in that uh, video that he uploaded today discussing Cutie and should it be hit. Hmm. Like, I didn't. I don't. I don't watch him. So. Damn. So. You don't know how to capital G. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> no, it's, I, I couldn't. I just. It's not really that many YouTubers I watch. To be fair, it's like it's like there's a very like there's a very small handful of them I really watch regularly. Anyway. Of course, DP. <laughs> wow. Thunder yeah. King. Seems Oh, that's gonna hurt. <laughs> that hurts. And main deck didn't want arc. Or maybe side deck, maybe. Well, probably side deck. Probably. Yeah. Probably side deck. Because yeah. control knew, but um, Nakagawa didn't, so. Go ahead and get all mm. your searching out of the way and go ahead and drop that Thunder King. He can still he can still do the draw effect of Pantheism, but he can't do the search effect. Exactly. Wow. And then this is gonna be very interesting to say the least. Mm -hmm. I mean, if he has the right hand, he can easily handle Thunder King. You know, just tribute someone and tack over it. But I don't know. It doesn't look like Nakagawa has it. No, I, nope, doesn't look like he had it at all. <laughs> what are those set cards? I do not see a lot of set cards in Monarch, so. <laughs> they're probably yeah, they're probably just kind of bluffs or something. I mean, it'd be cute if there oh. was someone strikes. Like, cool start, bro. Thunder King doesn't do anything like that. Oh yeah. my God. Sinister, you're a hero. Oh wow. Huh. huh. Okay then. Okay. So, do they even have any things special? Uh, I don't. F I, I don't is, think. Is Vanity Fiend a Magic Fiend? Aren't they fiends? 
Mm, they say, I mean, uh, no, I think they're fairies. Oh. Old men, or... <laughs> nope. No, they are fiend. Nope, they are fiend. Okay. Uh, is Majesty seen in Venice being a fiend? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Give me that idea. Maybe they're goddamn names. <laughs> wow. Well, so... Damn. Indeed. Vanity Stream plus Thunder King. You could still do something. I, <laughs> you could you could top deck Regeki and just go off, True. I guess. I mean, you could still literally activate Domain, activate Monarch Storm 4th, reveal one of your 8th, and then tribute it for a 6, and then tuck over the other one. Like, you're still good. As long as you have hmm. the cards you need, you're, you're still okay. <laughs> yeah. Are, are we taking this to game 3? Probably. He's probably going to scoop, I, th I think. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. Yep. Fair enough. I mean, yeah, if I was in that position, I probably would too. Mm -hmm. like, wow. like, I don't know what's in your hand, Nakagawa, but sometimes that deck can break. Especially when you put more uh, extra, ba extra deck based things, kind of lowering the, the pureness of your deck and hurting your mm -hmm. overall consistency of monarchs. Yeah. That's, I, that's just, I don't know. I don't know. I was just kind of think thinking, would would like the main mods still work? But honestly, they they could get outdone by Xyz mods quite easily. I'd, I'd say because again, if that deck goes off, it's like one of the best uh, uh, board presence boards. I mean, gaming decks that there is in the format right now. Mm -hmm. You can just you can just get a lot on there and just make you a super opponent can't do a whole lot. Kind of disgusting and seeing them throw in a quick draw just so they have a tuner to hit level five and go into Ultimaya. Yeah, that was kind of I never really thought of that, but yeah, the OCG had that, didn't they? Yeah, they they use uh, uh that Blackwing Gofu. Do they? Yeah, they use Blackwing hmm. Gofu special summon summon the two tokens. It can't be used as a synchro summon while on the field, but they don't care because then they'll just tribute summon the Gofu and pop the two tokens with Karaz to draw two. Wow, that's pretty good. Yeah, it's like, oh, that, that, that's good. <laughs> Just straight uh, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, and then Gofu's the tuner, then, of course, your non-tuner being uh, uh, your uh, prime, and then there you go, Ultimate Zokin. I'm kind of wondering if they're ever going to hit that card. I wouldn't be surprised if they hit that card, because Ultimate Zokin is kind of an unfair card, because it allows you to do plays that aren't proper. Yeah, I'd say, I don't think they will hit it, to be honest. No. Yeah. Because, I mean, it does have precedence, because what's, what's another monster that allowed you to do plays that aren't proper, and it got banned? Uh, Miles. Yeah, that was yeah. that as well, but... Yeah, it's, like, it's like, hey, I, I, rank 4s can go into rank 5s, like, that's not fair, yeah. so I wouldn't be surprised if they, I, Just because they have access to fucking Crystal Math. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what I was, was going to say, it was that card itself probably is going to... Do something. It, it could do something yeah, with, with like the banning of Ultima or something. I don't know, yeah. but like before, before Crystal Math, I, I didn't really mind it. I mean, some of the bills that's pretty powerful. All right, Void Ogre, sure, you know, maybe a Scrap Dragon, but Crystal Math, like, oh no, mm. <laughs> just for setting a card. Oh my God, you can set a card. <laughs> you you can set anything you want. Well, yeah. some, it's, that's been the sort of trap card zone, but still. Yeah, like that, that's power. That's power. If you could bust out two of them and they both go off and they both protect each other. Oh god, yeah. Yeah, that's that's not fair. It's like, oh, if I have a synchro monster, you can't target by card effect or by attack. I have two ultimates, so I guess you're not doing anything. You better hope you get a regeki. Yeah. And then just in case you mm. think that would be cute, I'm gonna go ahead and set a card and summon a stardust. <laughs> 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 Pretty much, yeah. Like, you son of a bitch. All right, gonna go ahead and give him the escalation instead of giving him more pantheism. Konami, if, I swear to Christ, if you don't hit Pantheism, I'm going to smack you. <laughs> oh, another pretty fusion as well. Oh, That's... Ah. Uh... Yep. Oh, dear. Yeah. That's got, that's got a sting. Yep. Hey, people. Guess what card is banned in the league? <laughs> hey. I, I, hey, I know that card. Mm -hmm. It's bad sentence, but whatever. <laughs> yeah, if you're actually wondering, yes, it is. We deliberately said Vanity Exemptionist is banned because we want entertainment. At the end of the day, League is about entertaining. <laughs> and there's nothing entertaining about flip up Vanities, probably summon a Thunder King and start poking him. Oh, never mind, or just do that and summon one of your <laughs> fucking... Man, oh, Control, dear. are you even playing Monarchs? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? 
At this rate, I'm not so sure. <laughs> you just playing Lockdown Dot Death. <laughs> Damn. Pretty much. This reminds me of when I was playing Tribute Stone back about a year ago. Obviously, but I didn't. Um, I, I never really thought of Sinister Year issue, actually. That probably would have really helped. Hmm. It's a little slow because it's a trap. Yeah. True. I, think I played a true. deck similar to that where they uh, they played like uh, Mausoleum and then someone like Nancy Green, Van Lee's Fiend, Christy Young shit. I'm like, okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I have seen that before. <laughs> Yeah. Like, I didn't really want to play anyway. <laughs> so, yeah, totally. <laughs> Dying cancer, Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> 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 this oh. game could be so cancerous at times. <laughs> it, yeah, it really can. <laughs> yep. Then again, that's... I don't know. I, uh, just... I mean, it's not like it's... It's not anything. I believe it passed up magic, so I believe Yu-Gi-Oh! is officially the most popular card game. Maybe. I, I, I don't know. I'd have to look at the numbers for that. Like, like you know, the number of players. I assume, like, they're both, like, pretty much even when it comes to popularity. Because at least, at least Yu-Gi-Oh! has its own TV show. I don't think Magic does. I don't think so. I don't think Magic does either. No. They, they have, like... Just the card game and a couple of video games, and that's about it, as far as I'm aware. Oh, Kuraz, I didn't see that before. Yep, that, that handles it. <laughs> that handles that vanity. Certainly does. Handled both of the situations at the same time, see? Is it really lucky now? Mm. Are you going to pop your own cards? Yeah, of course. Yep. And are you going to pop the Prime? Or one of his cards? I mean, Kuraz, I'm still, I'm still back and forth. All right, pop your own cards. I'm still back and forth. Because mm. it's nice to go <clears> ahead and use uh, with... with uh, Ether to summon Karaz to spot pop during your opponent's turn, but then it also breaks rule number one and rule number two of Yu-Gi-Oh. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, was, oh yeah, oh yeah. I was um, someone was doing that to like me the other day. I was like just screwing me over with that with Karaz over and over again. When I was trying to like play Inferno Tempest. It was just crazy because I was like trying to set set four, and even though I kept drawing, they just kept just destroying my stuff. It was so irritating. Yeah, it's just weird. Damn. And, of course, uh, the enabling uh, pit discard of Twin Twisters. It's not Twin Twisters' fault. Hmm. <laughs> so... Do you, re do you reckon they'll get hit at some point? Maybe, I'm maybe think, two. I, th I think one or two is a possibility. I very much doubt it'll get banned completely. Yeah, I, I can't say it's least... stand at three, though. No. Then again, I can't see Pantheism staying up free either, so... I don't know why Pantheism didn't get hit last list. <laughs> maybe, I don't know, maybe, I think, like... I don't know, maybe they just wanted to, like, see how much they could milk the Monarch deck. Like, yeah, the structure I mean, deck, I guess. Yeah. yeah, I can't see Twin Twister staying at three, I say maybe two, but... I only say that Twin Twister should get hit if you hit Strike. I swear to Christ, if you do not hit Strike. <laughs> Oh god, yeah, I want that card hit as well. <laughs> I'm tired of every single time I try to do something. <laughs> I mean, and just and that and counter fairies as well is just yeah, it's just the it's the worst thing ever. Mm -hmm. It's like oh, counter fairies, Radine, like fuck her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that card's just too good. Mm -hmm. And then Radine plus fucking uh, what is it, ultimate provenance. Oh god, yeah. Like, that, son of a that, bitch. That's a, that's a thing. That's certainly a thing. <laughs> like, it's... I don't get to pay the cost of nothing. Indeed. Yep. Oh. Maybe we have a nervous coming down. Yep, so he's gonna go ahead and tribute summon during his opponent's turn. I don't see a lot of Monarch players playing Escalation anymore. No, it's kind of interesting, actually. Mm-hmm. Like, it seems like if Ether's not doing the job, then, I mean... I think it should be doing the job. <laughs> That's yeah. the only monster you should be really tribute someone in your opponent's turn, but I guess. So I'm going to go ahead and see uh, Erebus. Erebus, go ahead and send two to pick a random card. That's so powerful. Like, Erebus yeah. is disgusting. Ether is disgusting. Like, this is monarchs. It's all disgusting. <laughs> it, it doesn't feel like monarchs to me, but. No, it whatever. really doesn't. Like, it I, feels like it, it feels like it could be in its own archetype. Seriously, like this is a whole new monster. Like this is not oh, the oh. same. Damn, damn. Here we are. Well, right <laughs> Nakagawa wins, I guess. Yep, so. That was that was certainly interesting to watch and fun as, as well. 
Wow. So, well, that's it. So, I mean, it took the, it went to game three at least. But, at least, yeah. And yep. he's just drawing more cards. Yep. And Nakagawa got out of that situation. I guess he wants to just play everything in his hand. Like, oh, look what I had. Look at all the broken shit that I had. <laughs> I had goodness. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that was pretty crazy. Mm-hmm. So, I guess we'll just go ahead and wrap it up. We're we're already at twenty minutes. All so, right then. Uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed. Thank you, Mister Mad Wasp, for joining me. No, thank you, Yubo Moss. Three for letting me join. That uh, was pretty cool. Yep. Uh, and I hope. Link to Mad's channel is in the description. Go ahead, go over to that channel. I'll check out the content. Of course, hit that subscribe button. And uh, looking forward to seeing you in season two. Yeah, I can't wait to be in season two as well. All right, people. Thanks for watching.